So this is the Hired Gun Altar. It was a gift that Mona Littlemore and I, the class of 2008, the original Tanya Hardings, we wanted to make a gift to give to the alternates. Previous warehouses, teams had had their own kind of spot. And when you're a hired gun, you're in this nebulous space where nothing is really yours and you're not really sure what you can take ownership of. It's also such a psychological struggle. When we began, you could get drafted straight onto a team. You weren't required to be a gun. And it's really easy to get down on yourself when you don't know if what you're doing is paying off uh, or if you're the right fit and who you're the right fit for. So we wanted to give the alternates, the guns, the hardings, a spot that was theirs that was inspirational. So when they felt like they were a lost cause, they could have a moment and know that they'd get through it. So we decided to use the feeling of being a lost cause and use St. Jude. St. Jude is the patron saint of lost causes. To show that that you would succeed, that you would find your own home, we decided to make part of the inspiration people who had been alternates before they were even ha Tanya Hardings, before they were guns, from as much of the beginning of TXRD as we could find, people who had skated a game as an alternate and had gone on to be drafted, to know that someone had been there before you were there. They know. If you needed someone to talk to, if you needed to see that someone was a captain, who you respect as a new person, you're like, she was where you were. So we went through and started pulling the history. We also decided, I did research on who would be the patron saint of roller. There is a patron saint of ice skating, St. Luke Willow. But eh, what they do is totally different from what we do. So I did a bunch of research on patron saints and found St. Catherine of Alexandria. She's the patron saint of wheelwrights, which is what we do. As much as skate, we work with and fix our wheels. We adapt them, we baby them. Sometimes we abuse them, but they are what make what we do possible. She's also the patron saint of unmarried women, of, of scribes, of female scribes of female business owners. Like almost every part of TXRD, she is somehow related to. Uh, we have since talked to a Catholic priest and a saint scholar and had them affirm that if there was such a thing, she would be it. So it's Saint Catherine of Alexandria. And because it's an, an altar to a saint, we needed reliquaries. So we have a symbol of every team. Some might not be as visible as they once were, but there's a Saint Bernadette in the flames for the putas. There's some little cowboy hats for the rhinestones. There were some actual cherries. I think they are still cherries. No, it's still there. It's really gross. I picked it up. <laughs> there's a stuffed little pink cat for the Hellcats and an angel for the Holy Rollers. I will say the last thing, we didn't do the flowers and fruit. People have given their own offerings to this altar. And it makes my heart smile every day. <laughs>